I know we're talking very philosophical and I know that we are in the time of the philosophers once again from a historical standpoint. So I guess the question will come out come up in occult and surface level sectors the question of what exactly is the philosopher's stone? We know it from the Harry Potter's franchise, or what was that? Maybe it has something else with the Sorcerer's Stone. But what is the what is the Philosopher's Stone, though? Well, the Philosopher's Stone, if you don't know the mythology and all of the backdrop that goes into like Hermetic traditions, Sumerian traditions, following this philosophical thread that always surrounds the tale of a master teacher. Whether you want to make that a Moses or a Christ figure or a Muhammad figure, the philosopher's stone is the philosopher's tone, the tonality of a philosopher. What does a philosopher typically do? They question everything. The questioning of things has a bad stigma only because of modern day societal overtones that indicate sarcasm, rudeness, brashness. But to simply be inquisitive, to ask questions, to simply be of a curious nature is a plus. This is the tone of the philosopher. And with all of the magic, quote unquote, magic stuff that happens with it, you can draw parallels to this too. Because the sense of quest and fulfillment is like a fountain of youth. And it's like resetting the clock on life, thereby redeeming the time. So again, this is Super T Sigma of Sigma Programming. I thank you for your time and attention. You already know reaching is teaching. Continue to vibrate high, people. Peace.